Abuja ni msaka na mwe ni angasa. Mwofu mbere ni usungwa no mwe mbere yon. Ya na msa inti na mwe ye ni obe timbia. But the recent tena na banya ya nebe ka mwase mne se. O mwe ya documentary. Ya. They have done a documentary which says country no more they not just Ghana go on, but we are for number of years. And then on top of that, no more money here, no more mukuzo here, no more money here. There, you better check it out. Yes, yes. This week, energy prices are soaring. The head of the World Bank says it's enough to trigger global recession. People are out on the streets as cost of living continues to rise. Shortages of essential commodities have become everyday stories. I was like, yeah, they've put together a documentary and you know, say, we are saying, yeah, Ghana, what are the problems? We are saying, baby, yeah, who is one of the strike, a crab, um, and it's just a strike, a month for any demonstrations, a month for any other countries, it's a movie about Ghana, they've seen it. Full well, and our petrol prices around the globe, baby, yeah, yeah, then, okay, come be blame, you know, Ukraine war. And I'm going to say, can't you be the accurate, yeah, and then the police, you know, against the civilians. The world is facing a global economic crisis never seen before in recent history. The dual effect of the COVID-19 pandemic and the Russian invasion of Ukraine has put the world on the edge. Now that Russian invasion of Ukraine, I don't know how much people are going to say. Is it that you need to impact a country like Ghana? I guess it be a fuel prices because, you know, Russia is a massive producer, was a exporter, was an importer of well, then you can get out because of sanctions. In terms how I know petrol and fuel, they be a flow quite the countries, you know. And this is but it still begs the question. So, DNT has a BBB. I know if you are blaming it on COVID, that's fine. Africa, we were not hit that much, but you know, Sky Air spent the one COVID. <laughs> My goodness, and then the Ukrainian war, which we are not fighting, but a mere chain or more more connector. Oliver can't cry the end here, no nasi. Russia and Ukraine the end of me in film, but COVID the end here. I I I got an unknown effect here. If we are seeing na now, God and the Russia and Ukraine film. Russia and Ukraine, yeah, Judea or more. Yeah, yeah, quite a day or more. Oh yeah, was a fool. Yeah, was a Russia for one of the high producers of petroleum. Uh huh. And see, Yan Yakota, yeah, and I got Messi Yan Yakoto. I don't want your Tommy. Basson says, I didn't have fifty. What are you talking about? I said to economy. I don't know, Messi. I don't hear all day. Huh? I don't hear all day. Just a mean, just your classes. I want to I don't hear all day. I don't hear all day. Yes, me, me, yes, I'm not getting. Oh, you, you told me about Bible, huh? Dubai, and maybe a chum in Uko, or to I don't want to I don't want to Akufado, Nanado Danko Akufado, the excellency on Danko. You could tell me a call on the man on my on the mind, but you need to be a crime if you know. A crime if now, now Russia and Ukraine, they're not be free. So, yeah, we are not a brave body of you. And like many countries around the world and Africa, Ghana is no exception. In fact, it triggers an even more deeper awareness of what we are going into. But yes, to an extent, I should say that you would have thought that these very strong Western economies would be more resilient. So for me, it points to a lesson that if they are resilient, it's even being hit. And they are falling to their knees in so many sectors of their economy. Then we should expect what is going to happen. Yeah, we should expect what is going to happen. That is the thing known. So, but the business here compared again and Africa countries be at to Europe and the US countries be at. Then it becomes a problem. So, okay, we know we develop. We can't compare ourselves to them. But when it comes to our children, and then the let's compare ourselves to them. You understand? So we we'll go through it. Now we expect that we are going to go through it. Ankasa. We also must show Boris Johnson video. Ocean no man UK, for example, like yeah. The boy, because I'm off for you here. Ghana government is not doing something like that. You know, okay, I must say I'm not going to compare. But if you do, that gives us an opportunity to, you know, also compare. Here in Ghana, there is, however, one political party that has shown time and again that they can salvage the country and bring it back from the doldrums. Savage the country said, Oh, my yeah, baby boy, MPP. Abaso. Again, this is not a documentary even about Ghana, it's a documentary about MPP to show you, say, No more be brainy, yeah, no more be brainy, you go so yeah, you're best fixing the country. But you know, the 
Normal mu ye nyina ye yi. O ti ase. Se se mo ba be bie yi pharmacy. Ye be top para e wo internet. Ye. O ren ku yenim. The new patriotic party is the party in this country. Always stood for a liberal democracy. A total belief in the private sector and a determination not to deal in poverty, but to aspire to prosperity. But they say they have a problem with the poverty. So it's like the poverty in the end. And the poverty angle, it goes through a month for the money. Now, here I can say, this woman, who is saying, yeah, or not a crowd on home because, you know, who is saying, I'm not going to be a crowd on home because, you know, my goodness. Elizabeth, I remember NPP Council of Elders. Yeah. In 2001, the new patriotic party inherited a broken economy. Ghana was regarded as a highly indebted poor country by the International Monetary Fund. The Jay Kufour led NPP government worked to bring the economy back on track. <laughs> Jay Kufo Firiwa, me was mo ba yena no be say economy no, and then the Kufo ab then na ba yaba, and then they are fixing it, and then they will come back kwa. You know some back kwa diya kwa kubli mu today you know the Ukraine war. But they are going in. When we took over, the aim of President Kufo after winning the election, and the aim of the party was to make sure that we lifted this country up, and whatever it took. One thing that I want to underscore is that our party will do whatever it takes in the interest of the nation. Not always, because I'm of one within the nation and a woman nation, your nation. This is the idea, but now one for is no idea where I'm So come on, revisit it. Come on, rethink how we be able to roll out and everything should be here. Come fix it, be at the economy. Let it start booming again and then bring this up. Most of the bida, you be here. So was that also in the interest of the nation? Because if the interest of the nation is not here, the people in the nation makes the nation a nation. And that is why we went epic. President Kufo decided to bite the bullet, as it were. How to get yourself out of that? He felt that was the important thing. And that was the joyful part. That was the admirable part of how the entire party, the entire government, Came together. I was here during the time my next president, before your president, and my goodness, your friend Gentry Jack, just <laughs> he was not afraid to do what was necessary for the country. A true leader, if you ask me. But right now, this is what we say. You know, it feels like you know the MPP, the Mahama government. You know, let's do something a bad way to win the next election. Basically, not the country first. Party first. In 2017, the new patriotic party again inherited a country that was on an IMF program. The task ahead was enormous. However, the government of Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado never wavered in their resolve to bring Ghanaians out of the program. The Kufu administration did it. The Akufuado administration from 2017 to 2019 had a clear track record of building this country up. This country was growing. It was expanding, we we're creating more jobs, we we're creating industries. The difficulties like inflation, interest rates were all coming down. And then we were hit boom in 2020 by COVID. Yeah, we, yeah that is one of the magic words. Our study and then we say he's going COVID veil. Young Blemu and COVID, you know, the government is not doing what they promised to do. Did COVID hit us? Yeah, very hard, not just Ghana. All countries around the world. Obianya and the chef of COVID. Ghana, they cry a tea. It was not as worse as some of Amavo even thought saying a bay. And then, again, scale when you free COVID, Munu wasn't small money. They squandered everything. Squandered everything. And now my watch, you know, I was here COVID. So scam more COVID, no more quadi, I came back okay. Scam man free, so it's very hard for us. Scale but free COVID, Munu was not small money. They squandered everything. Innovative programs such as the planting for food and jobs, the one district, one factory, and the free senior high school policy, a program that has seen a record number of almost 2 million children benefit from free education, were all implemented even at a time when Ghana was under the IMF program. And 
honestly, what good has that done so far? You see, when we talk about the free SHS now, I, I understand. But right now, Ghana, we can't afford free SHS because we don't have the money to pay for it. A man for almost not just uh, going to school for free, but also, you know, feeding. That becomes a massive problem. There is nothing bringing in income a best sustaining sub program. So at the end of the day, you know, it doesn't matter how long we try to keep it, it will fall, it will fail. I'm not praying for it to fail, but I'm telling you, sir, when you look at it realistically, that is the way we are going. The idea of free SHS was to give every kid the same and equal opportunity to go to school. Yeah, and ordinarily, you know, Naka will be a your poor kid from maybe Chara and Yamu That program gave that opportunity, and then, you know, a boy man for me. And then we have boarding schools, and then we have day students. That becomes a problem because. If we say equal, how is that even equal? Because in the local boarding school, the government is feeding the person, you know, and a number, and then if you go to day school, are you enjoying that same benefit? So it's never equal. And then the boarding people, you know, are also being. <laughs> is it this thing? Well, like, we have to do one video about free SHS Ankasa. Because I think some of video go on a drum if I'm not mistaken about. I can't say consistency. I know what say. Free SHS, no, just say. What do you have a video? My baby, Obi be your person in a boarding house and a free senior high school. No, send the penny checker. So, so back up boarding house, or send the penny checker. Because, see, lady, at what we share and call free senior high school for website. Near really raise the type free senior high school team. Who can see it's supposed to bring equity? Young child in a pepper, pepper, or be a yen you, or be a sick and you, then some can be. Papa Jimmy said, the current form and state of free senior high school in Pacho, you check the paper. Obia or what? Or a day student. Only the ones from free senior high school. Obia or that body, you feel it on a pack. Every year. And you may, you're someone by the other. On your light bill. On your whatever. And in fact, I'm going to win the sum. Can you do me a pet near Sasso generator? I'm going to almost say you should fool a crowd at that. Me for a sentiment, for me to a sentiment. You were a man for senior high school. I was. You were St. Joseph. I was. Me say, me dear, me pet. Bam person me ba e be school wa prempe. Wa mra me de school mu na abai fa ne hoka. Ah man peni na de. Like I said, we will try and do an episode about free SHS because they say in Quran co school na, Akura na bon say de en Quran na e si e move along the chain from P1 e so go P2. First wa bon e so tena ho, kwa o tena P1. They say that doesn't happen. Wa bon o mo yo, wo ko wani because un Quran fo fra ba. Mi nua ba ko ko SS. Co school ni for 1 month. Wa ba be tena fie for 3 months. And Sana, say because there's a double track system, no. we don't have the resources, but because of campaign promising, you know, and you say, yeah, yeah. if that happens, sir, you are not thinking about the race, you are not thinking about, you know, the country first. It's always party and political promises first. That becomes a problem. So, your queen. No matter the difficulty that the MPP is faced with, we're able to cure those difficulties and still provide the relief that Ghanaians want at the same time. And that's why, for example, even between 2017 and 2019, when we were under an IMF program, the Akufuado administration was still able to introduce those very innovative programs that brought relief to our people and growth to the economy. Free Senior High School, it was under an IMF program that we brought it. And today, you've heard the fans saying that it is an innovative program that should be protected. And then one more thing, I am now man for brain, not forgetting to say, every minister in Ghana, every MP be Timibiano, Omoba and enjoy that free SHS. Do you know why? Because they know that the Ghana public education system, no, it sucks. <laughs> so the poor people, no, Omoba na yase kwa no. So Omoba unko private schools are you tear dollars, baby? Every time an assembly start, Omoba no will breach the schooling. No MP. Our person the best year we are say at least best say you know bring a white collar job and a blue collar job will be any one person in back Ghana public school because uh, truly if this and come Makobia and come by some changes here and can be revolutionizing a whole lot. I don't think say even the education minister of Ghana could have back up public school without question. It is the free SHS which allows which makes sure that no child who can go. Is left behind because of money. That has been, for me, the most dramatic and innovative of our interventions. 
the fact that we are building and we are developing human capacity is so significant. But you see, the results of some of these very, very important investments which are not tangible, meaning that you can't feel its immediate results, it pays back after 15 years. Free education is going to pay back in 15 years. And there are a video now, very creatively, you know, or more useful a classroom, very nice classroom for that video. Obiti Biase. I did that one kid and farmer. You see, that is the thing. My kind of what we say. I can't say I talk about myself. That's the first set. Or we have some of these videos to confuse a mouth for. I am not who name one one casa. Because clearly, in some of my kind of video, no, no, it's half of the truth. It's free. SHS good. Yeah, but can we afford to keep it alive? No, because there is Ghana is broke. We don't have money. Everyone is complaining about how hard Ghana is. And then there is one program a government is looking to cut. one video about free researchers. After 20 years. But these are the systemic structures that we needed to build ourselves and to make ourselves resilient. Within the same period, thousands of graduates were employed. A healthcare revitalization program with drone deliveries and ambulances were introduced. In keeping with the Pledge of People Development, the President ensured that teacher trainee and nursing trainee allowances that had been cancelled by the NDC administration were restored. Yeah, so always, you know, blame the previous government for the outcome of And then, Kakrebiye, you know, you know, you know, you know, you It's not just the MPP, you know, you know, you know, if NDC were power, that is the exact same to number. So it's kind of, you know, a dear cost. And even that, yes, yeah, la one will be nine months rather than some kind of So to say it in a video, very cool, calm, collected. But in real life, you know, things are way different than it seems. In addition, thousands of nurses who had completed school and had been home since 2014 were all posted. Soon, the government was able to bring Ghana out of the IMF program. And then we are going right back in. <laughs> we got out. We are going right back in. Yo. It is not the difficulty that you encounter or that you fall, but how you wait, rise, as they say, is the important thing. And we have done it before. We will do it again this time. We have a problem now, problem that has external circumstances. But what we do is always calculated for the benefit of the people of this nation. This man should be Ghana's next president. I'll vote for him because, you know, Senator Ozitu Kasano, he knows what he's talking about. Yeah, so that, you know, I'll give them the props. You see, if you are the president now, the burdens on your shoulders, you know, is way too much. That's the reason why a president to be about to say OAG or anything. Nanado Bar's president, you know, Nanado is not aging. Nanado is not getting taller. What you say? Problems are gonna need me and Nakura. Oh, Nana said then why? Having laid the foundation, the NPP government began a major industrialization drive and promoted a strong image to attract big companies into the country. The one district, one factory policy was born out of the need to diversify the economy and create jobs for the Ghanaian people. Volkswagen, Nissan, and Sinotrack are all vehicle brands that have cited assembly plants in Ghana. But nothing of what they sell is actually cheap. Yeah, the idea then they say, oh, so can tanka manufacture cars for Ghana, yeah. Then you can get it, you know, a little bit affordable than the car maybe over Europe or be to a ship for the aqua Ghana. But as it turns out, you know, nah, the prices are all the same. <coughs> together with local manufacturer Kantanka. Hyundai and Kia, South Korean multinational automotive manufacturers, have also announced their plans to establish assembly plants in Ghana by the end of the year 2022. The president declared 2020 as the year of roads and several projects have been completed. They do really good. MPP for my no I always sit here and say it's MPP for your movie beer doesn't matter. They've done really good jobs at Kasa Wakana. But all of it no, doesn't mean anything. If the normal gun here now we are the man is all men enjoy no. On the DM, what you say? Scam money bottom business or buy and him. The hardship in the country no, is way too much. And then the government keeps on piling up 
no ma or mobe yes and a bay a best near me any panamo. If that happens now, and far one a cry away, and far one industry, so we be the people no, see you as doing nothing for the first time in the country's history. Four interchanges have been constructed simultaneously in Tema, Pokwasi, Obechebilamte, and Tamale. The vision to restore and expand our railway network has also received a major boost. Yeah, yeah, this is a way to be off a train from Accra to Tema. So, at least some of the stuff from a kind of video, no, no, spot on, correct, and kasa, correct to perfect. But at the end of the day, no, like I said, it's a video, not everything in the whole video, no, be no. You know, after Nkoma, the only addition that was put in the rail sector was 15 kilometers. Today, this administration has added 100 kilometer rail. That is the Temapakada and is extending towards Burkina Faso. And I think that that's going to cost 500 million euros just to do that. God almighty, Ghana, Wisconsin, <laughs> Capri. 100 million. But at least if there's a meeting construct here, yeah, I think say normal will be a you know transportation fare no, will be a little cheaper. And right now with the airports opening up here and there, no, it will also make traveling within Ghana no, very easy. And that is you know a good thing. We are talking about 22 kilometers of railway from Kujokrum to Manso. And now this they've also commissioned the Mansu Huri Valley one, meaning that the resting meal will be complete. These are significant and tremendous improvements in our transportation sector. Today we have new airports in Tamale and in Kumasi. It's an international airport by all standards. For that today, I'm going to talk to you since I've seen you in the I'm going to check within a week or two. I'm going to talk to you about your passion for the website. I'm going to start here even fly across here towards the Sunyan airport coming soon. So, you know, at least there is some hope set by the end of this year, the, yeah, so you know your post system, no, it will work. So at least you know, what kind of maybe once a man, you know, people hear it and then things get done. We are not taking credit for this, but you know, you know. <laughs> it is said that tough leaders are made for tough times. The leadership Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado and the NPP has provided Ghana in tough times is unmatched. Taking Ghana out of the IMF in 2019 through his strong leadership drive at the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic is unparalleled. You see, no more people who have to brag about, but you don't get to brag about San Anado as you hear for the IMF program. Abraham, what did you go back to the IMF program? So it's like we never left. So why are you bragging? <laughs> why are you bragging? Whatever it is, we shall overcome. If you have a leader who is willing, knows what is right, and therefore is willing to take the very difficult decision, then, and you support him, that means we will get out of it. And once we get out of it, I was going to say the sky is the limit, but we know where we are going. Sky is the limit. Come on, it's a Ghana thing. If the sky is a limiter, you do the sky and now you pay it in which means we just come back down. As the months and the years go by, you will see the Ghanaian economy pick up again. You will see more expansion. You will see more people getting opportunity to get jobs, to get incomes and to improve the quality of their lives. Okay, but say a person is not happening. Then let's create a Ghana. Everyone is equal. What do you say? Don't create a Ghana. NP minister or no coupon or the top of a can say fuel. A bride person or only a civil servant teacher me quite juma yetrianica, Nisica yetriana and swan in a busiano. Binayas or do you see the top of a good term? A broad on a jumana or you are very significant to shape the future of the country. But MP or no call a can say parliament once a week was a saying or no no or no fuel coupon. Yakokaya is here slashing into half. Like they can't buy fuel for themselves. The rich now moon here the kinds and the benefits and the cats. You know? Those are the folks that get the benefits and the cats. Okoka, you will do what them says here. You quit him. I've also seen the party, which is what gives birth to government, reorganize strongly right from the bottom coming up. From the polling stations to the electoral areas to the constituencies and the regions coming back up. And there's a lot of energy that is building gradually. And I'm hopeful that by 2024, when the combination of the national efforts by the government and the party's reorganization uh, achieve full potential, 
you will see us enter that election with a lot of energy and fear. Yeah, a lot of energy to lose because we are there, you are not coming back. No one is breaking the eight because if we have done 2024, we are coming to power very strongly and strongly. In Ankasa, can the Yapon also play tactics? Be so no, I don't buy a president. MPP delegates, delegates will show you, they will show MP a kind of the Kenya Yapon Ankasa. And also, Obaso Baba, yeah, eh, oh, Kenya Japan is not coming. A queer don't go all the way. MPP, you are not breaking any eight. Until then, they won't forget it. to my dream cry. So, if you were thinking MPP, NDC, forget all of them. A queer don't go GFP. Yeah, a queer don't go. I want to be replacing them. But they're still now, you know, we move. So, yeah, because you're a documentary, no, no, no. Holding together. Working together. That is the documentary of who here on Nado, Nado Agasana share, which means that he he only not buying any, you know. They are very proud of the video, so at least it needed to get extra attention from the audience of Maghrebians. That's not how we call ourselves, right? Yeah, Maghreb family is that simple. So that is the video. What do you think about the cause of a video? No, I mean, why do a comment section as because he here in Casa? Abi Express number one website. I bet me I go out to Africa. No more be out here. If I only we are safe, I'm be a war. Say no more here in Africa. No man go out to say Kente, to say Antuma, to say Chene, to say Kuto, to say Shire. Now say open in Nigeria. Go abexpress.com. If I only be a war, we talk why the ambassador poor bro will fear directly. Show me short video when you end the video. Ibusiya for. Who brought you memo? Now, if you say, Obito will be free Ghana, Brawa, I'll be express. Who brought you memo? Now, if you say, Obito near my maid, we see a four Wagana Mawa, I'll be express. Who Ghana? Now, what Tony and my now, if you say, you deliver bro with fear, a year, I'll be express. And now we are Ghanini, now what to audience wa I'll be express and no platform. I'll be near ABBI. Now, can you so say? Any time, yeah, we better to get free Abi Express now. We support businesses and work can. Abuziane, no, no, no. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to your YouTube channel. Don't click on the man who says new video. Be a new video. Be a new buy announcer. Till we meet again, Abuziane. Adios.